let's now get the opinion from the grassroots on Richie Sumac, because joining me now is Don Williams. Don is the chairman of Hampstead and Kilburn Conservatives. Thanks so much for joining us, Don. Thank you. No, I knew that um, you were backing Liz Truss, weren't you? You weren't that particularly in favour of Richie Sunak. So now, do you think with hindsight that you got the vote wrong and the MPs have now got it right? Well, you know, with time, things change. Um, I'm looking forward to the future. Liz Truss is no longer, let's say, in the race. And... um, we need unity and we need <laughs> a poli- things to work going forward. And I don't think I was wrong at the time, but I think it's right now important to, tr- to trust and to look for a candidate that will unify the party. Well, you and say look for a candidate. You've got a candidate who says he's going to unify the party. Are you saying you've still got questions and doubts as to whether or not he's going to be able to do it? No, I'm not saying that really. What I'm saying is that... Um, we're not in August 2022. We're in we're in October and almost November. We now know a lot more than we knew before, and it's pretty obvious from the voting in Parliament that he's a candidate to unify um, what's in par- the people in Parliament and also to address the issues that we've got going forward. So this is really what I'm saying. You know, he's the right man for the time. And the time has changed. So, since, so what do your constituents think? I mean, presumably you're talking to members um, on a daily basis. What do they think? Uh, as, as in everything in life, we have constituents with different opinions. Some are happy, some are not. Rishi Sunak actually did come to us in, uh, I think it was late July, early August, and spoke to lots of people. We had 200 people come out to see him. So we have lots of candidates who from uh, lots of... Uh, members from before who were really happy to see him and were really supporters. So, and we had people who were supporting Liz. I, I think that's true of every association. And yeah. I'm, I'm, obviously, I'm not telling you anything new, but um, if you see the pictures in late July, August, of the people who surrounded Rishi, and if, and in fact, I had a, p- a picture with him, it was jubilation. So there's no way I can tell you he didn't have support here. He had lots of support here. Yeah, I mean, I think what is interesting is that I saw um, a quote which said that, it, what is it, 57% of Conservative voters actually think that it was a mistake to get rid of get rid of Boris. <laughs> well, if I'm to, you see, I'm not going to agree completely with um, Lettice um, Bromowski. Um, I also heard lots of members who were in jubilation when, Bor- when, when, when Boris yeah. um, flew back on that, was it Sunday or Monday? Yeah. So, but people are realistic in our in our in in in, in our association. Yeah, and they want yeah. something. They want people to get the job done and to unify us. You know. All right. It, well, it, let, it, then you... let me ask you, Don. Let me let me just ask you because the Conservatives are now trailing in the polls. What do you, yeah. as a Conservative association and as a chairman, want to see Richie Sunak doing to guarantee that you might do a lot better? in the next general election than people are at the moment giving him credit for? Angela, I knew you'd ask me this question. <laughs> so I have then you've got your answer ready. <laughs> ready. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I, 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 you know, what we want is a unified, for, for the, a unified government and a government with the talent. And I think he's done the right thing in picking, well, a lot of people jump up and down and say, well, a Braverman Brav- Brav- wasn't the right person. But quite frankly, you need to pick people from the right of the party. So if we can say the right of the party, the centre of the party, and to the left of the party, whatever that means, because it doesn't mean much. Um, we're a, a party who is right of centre, so it's gradations. But we needed all the talents across the different wings of the party. Then secondly, um, in terms of policy, I mean, I was really, really elated when I heard it's a smaller black hole than we thought. So therefore, we can actually do things to help people. We can actually promote business. And I'm sure um, with his background, he understands that very clearly, that we need more investment and we need, need businesses to have less weight on their shoulders going forward. And that's really what I'd like to see. I'd, I'd like to see people who are working, given the chance to confront 
the, the you know, the, the, the cost of living crisis that we have at the moment. Now, uh, you know, it's great to also see that gas prices have started to come down um, on the wholesale market. So, and, and certainly petrol prices have come down. And, and so we, 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 we want people to choose how, and, and Angela, I really love your show, um, shows across the channels, let's put it that way, where you help people to save and you help, you, you, you look at people who, should I say, rogue players, and yeah. people need to, to shop differently. They yeah. need to, people know that. You know, I, I we, we have Kilburn High Road on our, our corner, and you can see people shopping differently in order to get the bargains. They go to Waitrose. They understand at Waitrose there are own labels or at Sainsbury's. Sorry, I shouldn't be giving any... Um, <laughs> any giving them a free product. advert there, Dom. <laughs> oh, I said you're giving them a free <laughs> advert there, but never mind, because I think what you've done is you have sort of... You've collectively described what you would like to see Richie Sunak doing, and uh, I think um, everyone keeping their fingers crossed that he's going to uh, live up to your expectations. Thanks ever so much for that.